We are starting it off with a big Amazon haul. <laughs> Small, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, there's no place for you there. Why are you sitting there? So I hope you guys noticed this shelving unit here at the corner. It is IKEA. <laughs> I assembled it all by myself. Even though the manual said use two people, but I was alone at home and really impatient. So I assembled it on my own and I'm really happy with it. So I thought I needed some recognition for that. It has been a really long time since I've done an Amazon haul on this channel for a variety of reasons. I know you guys really like them, but uh, I had a lot of stuff at home. I was just buying things but in smaller amounts so they were not enough to make a haul plus I was actually going out to the stores and buying things and that's why it's taken this long but I know you guys really really like them because you remind me in the comments of every second video at least <laughs> and I love you guys for that this time I did a little bit of extra shopping and I thought that uh, I would film this haul for you guys so there's one box here one more box here two more boxes and then a few of these bags all here that we are going to open today i'm not sure if you've watched my amazon hauls before because there are so many i will link them over there everything that i'm going to mention in this video i will list and link in the description bar below this if you would like to buy it just go below and click the link and you can purchase it because amazon delivers throughout india that is enough of yak yak We'll start opening this first box. This is Amazon Pantry, so it's a separate section of Amazon than those. You can see the tape is colored differently. Red tape, blue and black tape. I love this initiative that Amazon has taken recently where they have like tried to reduce the plastic that they use in packaging because there was a lot of waste happening there so here you can see they do need to put some padding in the boxes so they just use this paper which is easier to recycle and at least it's biodegradable so in this box there are just snacks and they may not be the healthiest of snacks also so if you're going to judge me for it then please just go watch another video but i bought some cornitos these are Cornitos Nacho Chips Quinoa flavor with Himalayan pink salt and these just have so many nice ingredients in them. These are quinoa, chia seeds, flax seeds blended with corn masa rich in protein and fibers. We love eating nacho chips at home so we either eat them plain or you can actually make loaded nachos where you could put like rajma or meat or anything on top and make it good like an actual meal. And we've tasted so many different brands. I do believe that this Cornitos Quinoa variant is the best one there is. The chia seeds and all are just like really nice. They add texture. I also just eat this with hummus sometimes. So I have two packets of this. And then Parley's Platina Milano chocolate chip cookies. I just bought one box of this last time and I really liked it. So I wanted to buy some more boxes. These are really, really nice cookies. They're so tasty. They are like a little bit expensive, but you do get all the cookies individually packed inside like this, which I think is good because it stops you from eating too much at a time. So I'll eat like one at a time. If I'm hungry, I'll eat two. The cookies also stay fresh like that for longer. This is what the cookie looks like, you guys. And it, it smells and tastes really good. The texture of like the biscuit part is also like really crunchy but melty and then the chips just melt in your mouth please just ignore my stupid cats they are very excited that i'm opening boxes but they're also fighting with each other because they love to fight so since i really like those cookies i ended up buying quite a few boxes of them Seven in total. These are six. I just kept one away. The last three things in this box are something new that I bought from Fortune. These are their new superfood millet based chichdi mixes. So they have three variants out and I bought one of each to taste them and see which ones I like because I really like chichdi. It's like the tastiest comfort food. So they have the Bengali Bog Kichuri. 
Gujarati Kichdi, Punjabi Kichdi. I guess that this already has all of the different pulses and grains inside, and it might have some seasoning also. When you're making it, you can add some vegetables, obviously, if you like, and you just need to pressure cook it. It seems really easy, so I decided to try it out. We're done with the first box. Uh, now let's move on to some of these bags, maybe. So the only thing in that bag was a two of these Taifu Classic Assam tea. All of us at home really like this tea, so it's quite mild. If you like strong chai, you won't enjoy this. But since we have a lot, we prefer to have milder chai. You get. 100 tea bags inside and they're actually packed um, not individually but like they're packed in four packets inside meaning each packet has got 25 which we find really handy and i should warn you guys that you're not just going to see these two in the hall there is more there is much look at this you guys my cats just love to chew these bags they're like, like crazy i just leave the bag for a little while and this is what happens to it it looks like a rat ate it, but we don't have rats. We just have cats. Okay, so I guess there's just one thing in here. This is a Safula Fitify Gourmet Superfood Quinoa Poha Mix. There are six sachets in here of 60 grams each. And this is also a repeat purchase that I have bought this I don't know how many times. I'm quite obsessed with it. It's a mixture of rice and quinoa and it just it tastes really nice. And my mom and me both enjoy having this sometimes. I don't remember what. Okay, I think I know what's in this. It's kind of heavy. So in here, there's just some wet food for my cats because I have cats. If you didn't notice, uh, this is the chicken in gravy wet food. There are twelve packs inside, and I got two boxes, which kind of lasts me less than a month because we give them one a day. But I had some at home, so 24 was enough for this month. If we buy chai, we need this also. This is Nestle Everyday Dairy Whitener or Milk Powder. This is the 1 kg pack. So I have two of these. So just two small bottles in this box that we we'll get to and then there are 12 boxes of tea. It's the same tea that I showed you guys earlier, the Taifu Assam Chai. I pride myself at being a smart shopper. We drink this tea anyway so I get like 2-3 boxes a month usually. But I saw that there was a really good price on these, like there was a discount running. So I just stocked up a little. Uh, we just finished it off anyway. So now I will not have to buy more for the next few months. Got one of these Ong sauces and I've recently become familiar with this Ong's brand. Singapore based and they make a lot of these like Chinese sauces that you need for cooking. Authentic ones because the ones made in India usually are really far from authentic. I've been searching so much for their toasted sesame oil. Whenever I go look for it, it's out of stock. And that really upsets me. But this is actually my second time purchasing this bottle. It's the Ong's Honey Soy Marinade. I already have one in use. And uh, this is just such a yummy sauce for marinating. I've tried it with tofu, with paneer, with veggies, with chicken. It's got like that savouriness of soy and then it's also got the sweetness of honey. I have both honey at home as well as soy sauce, but having it in a bottle just makes life easier. You skip a step of mixing the two together and just really thick and just really, really good. I would definitely recommend this sauce and it's also vegetarian. And Amazon has recently started selling a lot of proper Korean things like that come from Korea, not Indian Korean stuff. So this is kimchi seasoning mix and I really really love kimchi. It's a really healthy food. This one says that it's non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan and probiotic. So I like having one mix of seasoning to flavor my food. For a long time I have been using the urban platter Cajun seasoning. 
I've bought that at least three times from Amazon. I'll link it below. Uh, it's one of my favorites, and I like using it whenever I want a little spice, but I want some more complex flavors also because. Uh, just putting chili powder is going to make it spicy but it's not going to give it a lot of flavor and the Cajun spice mix is a mix of like chili powder, salt, onion powder, garlic powder and it's really really just really tasty. I use that one for marinating veggies, for marinating paneer, meat, during cooking and you can also use it just to season on top. Uh, recently it's one of my favorites but I thought one time why not try something different so when that Cajun spice seasoning gets over I'm going to give this one a try. This is also something that you can use either to marinate or you can directly put it on prepared food. Okay it smells very good but it does smell a little bit spicy. That being said you don't have to put a lot you can put a little if you don't want too much spice and you'll get good flavor. So this has a few different types of chili in it as well as some sugar, garlic, salt, ginger, kelp extracts, some vegetable, shiitake mushroom, pepper and probiotics. And that's it for this time's Amazon haul. First one of 2020 of the new year of the new decade. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just going to remind you that everything is linked and listed in the description bar below this. If you decide to buy anything, happy shopping. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment because I love reading your comments and they mean so much to me. I will see you guys next time. Bye!